Hello. Today I am joined with, can you see all the beer in the shot? Yes. I'm joined once again by Jack Blanche, ex-seminarian. Oh, fuck. You yeah. know some people in the church? Yeah. Okay. I... We'll be hanging out sometimes, you know, and a group of chums, group of the old, you know, cathos come around the house, have a couple of beers, have a chat, and invariably the conversation will turn on to some sort of papal encyclical or, you know, a, diff- a dis- disagreement over a word that might be in rerum navarum or something. It's got to be looked up. Right. Right? No, I didn't say that at all. You don't understand the work of Leo. I don't know where this is going, so, yeah. yeah. So you've got to look it up. Yeah. And where are the encyclicals kept? What does Google recommend? The Vatican website. Oh, okay, right. Okay. The That's Vatican website is a terrible website. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It has so many great things on there. I actually like the style of it. I, I think this like <sighs> 90s faux nice paper. You think we like that? Can you believe it? Yeah, yeah, can yeah. you believe we like the yeah. kitschy Catholic stuff? But <laughs> what I want mo- very badly is one of those... Uh, sacred Heart lights that the Irish had. Yeah, you yeah, plug yeah. it in, and the heart, it's just a heart bulb. Yeah, yeah. Probably starts a lot of house fires. You can't get them anymore. Uh, hold on, I'm going to have a little burp. I burp in a different way to most people that I personally know. Anyway, the Vatican website is really bad, and it's just by anyone's standards. It's like you try and get it on a phone, it doesn't load for the dimensions of the phone. It loads for a computer screen. No, it's fine on a phone. No, no. It's not fine on a phone. You like can, it is, you just have to swivel around. You, you know what you're saying. You're being. Uh, let me let me say where I'm going before you Keep embody going. some of the disagreement. My thought was, could I? Oh, you don't want me to disagree with you. Listen, could I fix the Vatican's website? I think no. Okay. Yeah. Let me tell you why it's important for me. I think to do it. Mm-hmm. The the Protestant critique of the church frequently is that it's corrupt yeah. and it's terrible and I don't want to be associated with those sorts of people. Sure. Boys jumping out of cakes, priests jumping into boys, whatever it is, right? All sorts of <laughs> my key, all sorts of <laughs> naughty stuff going on and you can't reform it. So we'll go over here. We can reform it. Well, what sure. we Catholics say, we say, no, stay, fight, change, work. Remain in the church get Because it it's here. the truth Yeah Okay I'm going to ban in Christ's church Because it's hard Oh okay Well good luck Okay but by that logic We should fight Right And we yeah. should show That it, you can win Occasionally So something like this Vatican website Which is so bad I mean it's just Like even if you weren't To change anything But the fact That it could load On a phone So that you could read it On a phone The way that most people Look at the website now On the internet Here's another one Even if you just like Went through all of the encyclicals And made sure Because they've just scanned PDFs And uploaded them straight there So the spaces are in weird places And words run together Even if you just Ran a spell checker Right To to see where the little Red squiggly lines were That a space bar Needed to be put in That would be a positive change Okay. I'm not talking about let's solve the sex abuse crisis. That's beyond my pay grade. I don't know how to do that. But I could if they took me to the computer that this is on and gave me the logins. It's running Windows 95, right. I'm pretty sure. If they took yeah. me to the secret room in the Vatican that's running Windows 95, or you know what I like to think that they have? Is one of those iMacs with the shell. You know the one the the plastic legally blonde style iMacs with the mouse with one button? You have a very high view of the church is technological. Man, I would have just loved yeah. to think John Paul too, going like, it is, oh, it is so cool. <laughs> Look, man. Mm, yeah, okay, but keep going. Whatever they're rocking, yeah. I can fix it. I can make it better. Yeah. I know how to do it. I yeah. know how to make a website, fix a website, get me in the back end. <laughs> Something that so many <laughs> people in the church have said before, get me in the back end and I can do what I want to do. Will the church help me to fix their website? What do you mean the church? The Vatican. The visible well, body the, of Christ. No, because yeah. you, no, you're not talking about that. You're talking about... I'm to, you're right. I'm talking about the clergy. No, you're talking about the Vatican. The Vatican. Yeah. yeah. I'm talking about the top-ranking bureaucratic officials who are in charge of this in the Catholic Church. Right. It's a couple of like Italian priests sitting around in Rome. Yeah. Like, th- these are not... Like, yeah, I mean, people have this idea of, like, how the church works and it's this, like, structured hierarchy. It's not. Like, it's it's a bunch of middle-aged Italian blokes running Windows 95 in a 
But stuffy it's important. Vatican office. The somewhere. first person that I spoke to about this was our priest. Right. Yeah. And he laughed you out of the room. I talked to. I called him on the phone. Yeah. Okay. So I, I didn't have anywhere to go. But he, first he said, "Don't use my name. <laughs> don't get me involved. I don't want to be involved in yeah. this." And I explained to him that, like, I think it's important to show we love the church. Yeah. We want to make the church beautiful. You know, make it new, as Ezra Pound says, and he says that. In a way, you know, all right. So I want to fix. We're going to bring Ezra Pound into this. <laughs> Maybe not. Depending on who we're talking to in the Vatican, we will or won't bring Ezra Pound into it. But it's like I want to do the work required. Yeah. For the church to make it, you know. To fix it and make it better in the way that I can. And we talk about synodality, whatever, and like I the don't. laity, whatever. Yeah. They do, they do though, about getting involved and talking through the church. I mean, honestly, if we can't fix the website, I don't know how that's meant to be inspiring faith that we can stop abuses of other kinds. If we can't stop online, you know, that. If we can't do a basic thing. Here's another thing. There should be no politics about it. It doesn't work. There are things that would be political, right? Like if you said, I want to change the blue of the hyperlink to a different blue, someone might be, ah, but that's uh, the Argentinians. Very upset about that kind of blue, so we use a separate blue. Like no one is going, but I think it's good for the church to have a, a resolution that's inappropriate on the I'm device. saying that. Why are you saying that? I that love, I love that the Vatican's website is so terrible. What about the church uh, being bad, do you like? Well... The church is always behind the times. And as a sign of, like, Christian fidelity, it's great. Because it's like, we don't care about this, right? We've, we put the information there. You read it. You read it. You know, sometimes the information... We've given it to you. Is oh, new... you want it nicely put? Yeah. Like, you want it put in, like, a nice... You're not going to get... You're not going to oh. read in that are going to save Ooh. your soul Ooh. Hold on, it's if my... you don't Hold just, on. like... Hold on, it's my be real. <laughs> <laughs> We have a website. It should function. It does function. It does not function. You can't read. You can. I read it all the time. No, man, it's hard. Yeah, it's badly formatted. Sure. Not just badly formatted. There are like obvious mistakes. There are words that are pushed together without space bars in them. There are, you, you can't, you, 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 you bring can it up. Read it. You have, no, you, no, no. You know full well. You know, for, there's no, why should, what? No, to, look, I agree with you. I agree with you. It's a bad website, but I don't mind that it's bad because it's, sh it's showing that the church isn't going to invest time and money in something that's not important. Oh, okay, excellent. And maybe they shouldn't, right? But I, out of love and self giving, would help, okay? That's great. No time, no money. Let me in there to fix it, <laughs> right? All right, you know what? You did. You told me. I, I just want to give. Let me give. I'm not asking for anything in return. Fine. Well, even when it's on a computer, it's formatted terribly. It's like one side of the screen and the text, there's just a big like brown area on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, like I agree with you, it's a bad website. So my question is to you, and the reason I'm bringing you in, so the first thing I did was I spoke to a priest because yeah. I think... From a technical point of view, if you have a problem with the church, the first person you should go to is your priest. Okay. Yeah, sure. I spoke to him. He didn't want to be involved. But he yeah. did identify you as someone who knows a lot of people, knows a person to talk to, ex-seminarian. You're very in the church. I may know some people. Right. So he's pointed me to you, and then I've come to you. So all the discussion that we've had is it's a wonderful back and forth, and I'm happy to have had it, and I, I expect to encounter this. But what I'm really coming to you for is not to just talk out the idea, because I'm resolved within myself. I know you are. I want to fix this. Yeah. My question to you is, who do I talk to now? I think I know someone who used to work for the Vatican Communications Office. Unbelievable. Uh, it's better than I thought it was going to be. All may right. be able to get you in contact with. I don't know if they're the people who run the website okay. for the Vatican. But if they don't, I you could get on a... You could Zoom him and uh, film that, I assume, and uh, probably have a chat to him about where to go next. And I wouldn't be wasting this person's time. They're... Do You'd absolutely be wasting time because there's no way this is going to happen. But well, now, hold on. Why do you think it couldn't happen? Why do you think someone would like? I get to the office of the room. Let's say he goes, "Oh, you want to talk to this guy? Or you want to talk to like the representative of the Vatican in Australia? Like whatever the chain of command is that I get set up. Yeah. I get to the final door. Right. I get to the guy who's like, it's the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Yeah. Are you going in there and clicking three things so that the website works on a phone? Why would they say no? <sighs> what are you going to give them? My work and my love for the yeah, church. Yeah, but it's like... You think I have to bribe somebody? I think you're going to have to bribe somebody. That's how the Vatican works. Yeah. 
It is corrupt. I don't know what to tell you, James. It's a very corrupt place. You're probably going to have to grease some skids on your way. Like, well, what's in it for me to fix the website? You know, like, what are you going to do? I'm not going to have sex with these no, people. No, they just want money. They're Italians. Come on, don't be crass. They just want you to, like, you know, pay for somebody to get killed or something. <laughs> you say at some point if I'm on this quest to fix the You may have to kill someone to, to, to finish this, but I'm, look, I'm behind you. That probably deserves to be killed. If we can't get this right, I think the Protestant argument looks stronger. The, I don't want to because the scandal. Vatican website is bad. No, because the Catholic you, Church is not the true Church say, of no, Christ. Because we say you've got to you've got to stay in the Church. You've got to fight. You've got to try and make things better. And then you try and make you're a real Erasmus. You try and make yeah. the very smallest thing better that you can. The thing of which there should be no dispute. You're choosing. And they won't let you. A, Probably one of the harder things, I think. But I'm on board. Let's Is it, it just because old Italian men don't understand the internet? I think it's because, well, old men don't understand the internet and it's yeah. largely who you're dealing with, yeah. <laughs> I assume there are some old men in other countries who I just... <laughs> mm. But look, no, let's do it. I'm on board. I would I'd, love to... Let's you go might, on the ride. Are you going to go to Rome? Rains to be seen. All right. I would lo- also... Is the other thing. If I then have an excuse to go to Rome and be like, I'm on a quest... <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, it is helpful that the end point is like, look at me on a fucking holiday in the place that I most want to be. <laughs> but I think this is, I've got a couple of like quest podcast ideas at the moment. I'm getting Eve Allen Bogan to be, do an impersonation of me in Europe, hopefully sending Sam Clark over on his honeymoon to videotape it. You, you. But like, I don't know where I think I'm getting the money for all these things, but. Can I fix the Vatican website? That's my basic fundamental question. Can I fix the Vatican website? Look, I think no, but I'd be very happy if you did. You've changed your tune. I don't want to change the aesthetics no. of it at all. I love the way it looks. No, I think you won't be able to do it. So who's this person you're going to get me in contact with? Uh, his name's Michael. He he used to work for the Vatican Communications Office. He used to do translations and stuff for him. I think he might be able to help you, but I don't know. So this big may favor, be a waste, waste time. Yeah. Does he live in Australia? No, he lives in Rome. Okay. Yeah. Big favor. Mm. Will you sit with me now? Mm. Do you have your phone? Yeah. Can we shoot this text off now? All right. Let's right. Do because it. then it's like it's self-contained. I did the thing. I didn't record the last one because I didn't record the talk I had with my priest. And I think that is the first step. Uh, is you know when you have a problem in the church is to approach your priest or to approach someone so that you can approach a priest. That's what they're. It's part of the reason they're there. Talk to a deacon if you can. Talk to the porter if that office still exists where you are. But I've been sent to you and you're sending me off to this guy. This is step three. Hey, mate. Hey, mate. Bit weird. But I'm with my friend, James. Is he familiar with my work? Do you think? I think he is. Ah, uh, increasingly successful among certain small circles. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm backspacing. <laughs> James McCann, who you may know from his comedy. There we go. Thank you. All. He has set himself the task of fixing the Vatican website. 